You know what's funny? People say stick to one thing. Society tells you, don't spread yourself too thin. But have you ever noticed? Every name that echoes through history, Leonardo da Vinci, Benjamin Franklin, Elon Musk, they didn't listen to that rule. They mastered multiple worlds. They weren't specialists. They were polymaths, people who saw connections the rest of us missed. And here's the plot twist. You don't need to be born a genius to become one. You just need to understand the science of how a polymath brain actually works. Today, we're unlocking that. Let's go. The psychology of a polymath, what makes them different? A polymath's brain doesn't just learn. It interconnects. See, neuroscience shows that your brain isn't made up of separate boxes of skills. It's more like a web. Every new idea you learn strengthens connections between old ones. That's called cross-domain learning, and it's what makes polymaths think on another level. They don't just ask, what does this mean? They ask, what else could this mean in another field? Da Vinci studied anatomy not just to draw humans better, but to design machines that moved like muscles. Steve Jobs studied calligraphy, not to write prettier notes, but to design elegant typography for Apple. Elon Musk studied physics plus coding plus business, not to collect degrees, but to merge them into SpaceX and Tesla. The secret is connection, not collection. Polymaths use analogical thinking, comparing unrelated ideas to find patterns. That's how your brain creates original insights. And according to studies from Harvard and MIT, this idea collision is the root of creativity. The science-backed system to train a polymath brain. All right, let's talk methods. Here's the science-based four-step system to build polymath intelligence. Step one, the curiosity compass, ignite dopamine learning. Every polymath starts with curiosity, but not random curiosity, it's structured curiosity. When you chase curiosity, your brain releases dopamine, the seek and explore chemical. It motivates you to learn longer, deeper, and with more focus. But here's the catch. Dopamine only stays high if you follow novelty plus challenge. So rotate topics. Don't just study psychology. Mix it with storytelling, design, music, or economics. That unpredictability keeps your learning system alive? Try this. Every Sunday, pick a random concept from another field. Connect it to your main skill. That's how you build polymath neurons. Step 2. Build your latticework of mental models, Munger method. Charlie Munger once said, The big ideas from multiple disciplines are the ones that really work. A polymath collects mental models, not memorized facts. Each model is a lens to view the world, supply and demand, feedback loops, first principles, inversion, entropy. The more models you have, the more your brain can mix and remix them into genius level insights. Pro tip. Create a mental model journal. Every time you learn something new, ask, how does this connect to psychology, to physics, to human behavior? You'll literally rewire your prefrontal cortex for pattern detection. Step three, learn with the polymath pyramid. This is the three-layer system polymaths use without realizing. Layer one, explore breadth. Expose yourself to as many different domains as possible. Art, coding, neuroscience, philosophy, design. Don't judge, just explore. Layer two, deepen, depth. Choose one topic to master intensely for 60 to 90 days. Go deep until you can teach it. That's where long-term memory forms. Layer three, connect, integration. Force cross connections. Ask, how does storytelling use psychology? How does design use math? That's when your brain fuses knowledge into innovation. Step four, teach, simplify, and apply. Here's something wild. Teaching activates retrieval pathways in your hippocampus. It locks learning into long-term storage. So don't just learn, teach it. Make videos, write threads, talk to friends. Every explanation forges stronger connections in your brain. Einstein said it best. If you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. The polymath habits that build a legendary brain. 
Let's go practical again. Habits. Here's what modern neuroscience says actually builds polymathic intelligence. 1. Micro learning bursts. Learn for 25 to 30 minutes multiple times a day. Your brain retains more through spaced repetition than marathon sessions. 2. Cross training for the mind. Like athletes train different muscles, train different thinking muscles, logic, math, emotion, art, Structure, writing, randomness, music. Three, the Curiosity Loop Journal. Every day, write one question that connects two unrelated fields, e.g., what can biology teach us about business? Four, mind-wandering time. Neuroscientist Marcus Rachel found eh, that creativity peaks when your mind isn't focused. Let your brain daydream. It's literally connecting ideas in the background. Five, Sleep like a scientist. During REM sleep, your brain cross-links new memories with old ones. This is when creative insights are born. That's why da Vinci took power naps and what he knew before science proved it. The polymath mindset, where most people fail. The biggest obstacle isn't intelligence, it's ego. Most people want to look smart in one field. Polymaths are okay with feeling dumb in 10. They embrace beginner energy. That's the paradox of mastery. The more you learn, the more you realize how little you know. And that humility fuels endless growth. So don't label yourself. I'm just a designer or I'm just a coder. Say, I'm a student of the universe. Because polymaths aren't chasing titles. They're chasing truth. Imagine a life where you could talk about art and science. Where you could build, design, teach, and create. All from one evolving mind. That's the polymath life, not confined by one skill, not trapped by one title, but powered by curiosity. You're not here to fit in one box. You're here to build the whole shelf. So stop asking, what's my one thing? Start asking, how can I combine everything I love into something no one's ever seen before? That's when the world stops seeing you as talented and starts calling you legendary.